Hey everybody, Ray here. How's it going? Welcome to today's video. Characters I regret raising. The completionist in me set off on a mission to level everyone's talents to three sixes and unlock their final ascensions. I'm fairly close now and yes, I have finally realised it was a dumb decision and I could have been farming for artefacts. Before we dig in, I just want to throw up a little disclaimer here. Your favourite character might be on this list, and I mean no offence, we just have different preferences and playstyles. I will also put my hands up that some of these may just be a case of bad builds, and not enough investment on my part. And they're not all from Inazuma, I swear. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like and let me know which characters you regret raising in the comments, and if you're new here, please consider bopping on that little red button down there and come and join the team. So I'm going to start off with the most recent character that I regret raising, and that's Goro. I had high hopes for our friendly neighbourhood Shiba general, and the idea of using his skills to boost up someone like Ito's damage, but I find Goro's movements to be kind of clunky, and his skills slow to deploy. Also, the cutesy doggo references sprinkled in here and there alongside the serious general stuff seems kind of strange to me, so I've got to say I don't really enjoy the character either, nor am I a huge fan of his design. Continuing on with the theme of Inazuma Generals, and as much as it pains me to say this time, Kujo Sara is another character I regret raising. I wanted to love her even more than Goro, as her design is badass, and I do love that we've gone to see a good amount of her through the story and events so far, but her basic attack just feels so clunky, and I don't think I've ever had her burst actually hit anything. Next up is Toma. Now this one may just be a case of I haven't got the best build in place for him yet, but I find that he isn't as strong as I hoped he would be. Perhaps rebuilding Toma is the key here, but so far even though his kit seems pretty solid on the surface, it's just not meshing with me. And if I'm being really honest, the more I've played with Ito as the main DPS, the more on the fence I am about him. Maybe he just needs better artifacts, because although parts of his kit are very interesting, I'm just not getting the damage output that I'd hoped for. If you saw my character video about Kokomi, you're probably expecting to see her on this list, but she doesn't belong here. I'm glad I got her and raised her, and she's a valuable unit. I just had to say something positive for once about Team Inazuma, and to remind you all that Kokomi's Ruin Banner is currently up, and I think she's worth considering for your team. That wraps up Inazuma, so now I'll move on to Liyue which would have had a few entries, but I recently started experimenting with some new teams and have changed my mind on a few units. If you made me pick someone though, I'd probably have to say Kuching maybe? Although really it's because I accidentally leveled up her normal attack when I wanted to raise her burst, and this was back in the earlier days, so it took me a long time to gain the right materials, and I've never really gotten past that. Okay, now to Mondstadt, and I feel like this is probably the harshest one to say, but Glee. Again, maybe this is a case of needing a better build, but I was really excited for Klee's rerun and her skill is interesting, but she needs a good shield or healer because of her lower HP and I find her range to be quite short, which doesn't help. The next two are a soft regret for me, but are some of the strongest and most used units in my friend's teams. So first up is Barbara. Now Barbara has been well and truly really benched on my account and I regret how long I spent trying to take her to a high level, as there's nothing she can offer my team at the moment that a stronger unit can't. I think though mainly I just regret how long I had to spend fighting the Oceanid. I used to really hate that thing, but I have figured it out now. And finally, Razor. Honestly though, I feel like I haven't given Razor enough of a chance, so perhaps he doesn't actually belong on this list. His turn in the commission squad is coming up, so maybe I'll change my mind once I've been forced to use him every day. I will admit though, I think his elemental burst is really good, especially if you're a player who will keep him on the field. And that's all for today's video. I hope your favourite character wasn't on this list, but if they were, let me know if you have any tips for them. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button too. I know I already mentioned this, but today's question of the video is, who do you regret raising? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to let me know if there's any topics or characters that you want to see next. But for now, I'll see you next time.